guys, we are back with another song by Eminem. And which one are we doing today? Today we're doing The Warning, which is Eminem's diss to Mariah Carey. So I know this song. It was on the radio, right? I don't think no, so. No, Mariah's version. Mariah's response, or did Mariah start it? You're talking about Obsessed? Yeah. I think that was first. Actually, that was first. Yeah, that was on the radio. Not yeah. gonna lie, I like I like Obsessed. I like that song. It was catchy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and she's like depicting Eminem in the video and stuff. I didn't know that. When I first heard it, I didn't know it was about Eminem. Yeah. So do you know the warning? Or I'm sure you have, I think we've probably at least he listened to it. He plays her in it. Her vocals are in it, right? Yeah, he's <laughs> yeah, he uses some of her vocals. Oh god. Yeah, I know it, but not that well. It's not like a chorus song, right? No. no not yeah, at so all. like I, it's just a diss track. There's the way that I am, there's really not much for me to remember about it if there's no like <laughs> chorus and like verse here, verse there. Yeah. But I know that he samples her voice in it. Yes. So we're obviously in between albums. We're doing a handful of tracks. This is just one of them. I know people have requested. So we're going to do this. A few more songs before we get into side B of music to be murdered by. Fun. Yes. So a little backstory. So this was released in 2009. It wasn't an album track. It was just a diss because Because of Obsessed. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that sounds good. Yeah, I wish I had known at the time that Obsessed was about Eminem. I had no idea. Yeah. Because it just popped up on the radio. Yeah, I know. So So honestly, when that first came out, I don't think I made the association either. Well, no, because they... When was the last time he wrote a song about her? I don't know. I mean, he's been mentioning her since 2001, 2002. Yeah, but I feel like... I don't know. I feel like... She waited a while. Yeah. Um, I mean, he was always taking shots at her. <clears throat> yeah. I don't know. All right. Okay. Sponsors. So, yes. This video is sponsored by Carnivore Snacks, which, again, is one of my favorite meat snacks ever. They actually sent us this one to try. It's their new bison sliders. It is 100% grass-fed bison and red mean real salt. Sorry. I'm pregnant, if you don't know, so, like, just bear with me. Okay. So, yeah, here's their website. Oh, there's Joe Rogan. It is his favorite snack. Mm. It is. He loves it. And, yeah, you can get the bison sliders. Uh, It's not a members only anymore. Oh, no, they are officially there. So, if you haven't tried them, they're very, very good. So, wait. Scroll up a little bit. Me, stop. Eh, stop. Okay, so beef sliders, lamb sliders, pork sliders, chicken sliders. I highly recommend any of those, especially the lamb sliders. Obsessed. They're amazing. Scroll down a little bit. New Wagyu, I have not tried, but I definitely want to. You need a membership though, but I don't know. I don't know if it'll always be on membership. I'll have to find out, but I definitely want to try that one. And you can use our coupon code with Smith for uh, 15% off of your order, but it has to be your first order. They are going to do a period of time, like about a week or so, maybe five days. I don't remember. They also haven't officially confirmed it yet, but it's coming soon. And they're going to allow people who've already made purchases to use promo codes to get a percentage off again. So keep an eye out for that. I will mention it in our um, in our comment section, whatever. But yeah, so there's that. And uh, links in the description below for that. We're also sponsored by SeatGeek, which is a great website to get tickets from, like comedian tickets, uh, concert tickets, monster truck tickets. I don't know why that came to mind. Wrestling. Sporting events. Broadway. Fighting. Wrestling. Drake. <clears throat> He's on tour with 21 Savage right now. Barclay Center in two days, and there's still tickets available. Get yourself a ticket or Matt Reif if you actually think he's funny. Yeah, and you can use our promo code with Smith for twenty dollars off your very first purchase, and the link for that's in the description below as well. And follow us on social media channels, right there. And yeah, that's it. All right. So here we go. The warning. Produced by Dr. Dre, by the way. 
Only reason I dissed you in the first place is because you did not see me. Now I'm pissed off. Sit back, homie, relax. In fact, grab a six pack, kick back while I kick facts. Yeah, Dre, sick track. Perfect way to get back. Wanna hear something wick whack? I got the same exact tat that's on Nick's back. I'm obsessed now. Oh, gee, that's supposed to be me in the video with the goatee. Wow, Mariah didn't expect it to go balls out. Bitch, shut the fuck up before I put all them phone calls out. You made to my house when you was wildin' out. Before Nick, when you was on my dick and give you something to smile about. How many times you fly to my house? Still trying to count. Better shut your lying mouth if you the one Nick finding out. You probably think cause it's been so long. If I had something on you, I would've did it by now. Oh, on the contrary, Mary Poppins, I'm mixing a studio session down and sending it to mastering to make it loud. Enough dirt on you to murder you. This is what the fuck I do. Mariah, it ever occurred to you that I still have pictures? However you prefer to do, and that goes for Nick too, faggot. You think I'm scared of you? You're gonna ruin my career, you better get one. Like I'ma sit and fight with you over some slut bitch cunt that maybe put up with a psycho ass over six months and only spread her legs to let me hit once. Yeah, what you gonna say? I'm lucky. Tell the public that I was so ugly that you fucking had to be drunk to fuck me. Second base, what the fuck you tell Nick Punk? In the second week we were dry humping, it's gotta count for something. Listen, girly, surely you don't want me to talk about how I nutted early Cause I ejaculated prematurely and bust all over your belly And you almost started early and said I was gross Go get a towel, your stomach's curling, or maybe you do Okay <laughs> There's no, like, real chorus, hey. so I had to find a spot to stop <clears throat> God Yes, this is pretty direct It's all true I'm, I'm assuming They only had sex once I'm assuming In like, six months Like, why would he say that otherwise, you know she said, like, they only hung out, like, a handful of times, so it's possible, you know what I mean? All right, so it starts off, Eminem does a little just talking in the beginning. He says, only reason I dissed you in the first place is because you denied seeing me. Now I'm pissed off. Why so, did she deny it? I don't know. So she said, we saw each other a few times. I don't consider that dating. So I don't know. I guess. <clears throat> There's also some other things that we don't. He alludes to that she may have cheated on her ex-husband with him or boyfriend. I forget if she was married or not to him, whatever. And then kind of alludes to maybe she was cheating on Nick too with him. So it's, I don't know. It's very convoluted. <clears throat> so he comes in. He says, sit back, homie, relax. In fact, grab a six pack, kick back while I kick facts. Yeah, Dre, sick track. So it's just starting off, but like a just lyrical... Ice. Act rhyming. Yeah, so it's pretty cool <laughs> for a diss song, you know, yeah. which is usually about the content. Yeah. Then he says, uh, perfect way to get back. Want to hear something wick whack? I got the I got the same exact tat that's on Nick's back. What is it? It says Mariah in giant letters. Are you serious? Yeah, so I, I think Eminem's joking. He doesn't really have that. But it's interesting because the next line is, I'm obsessed now. Oh, gee. Is that supposed to be me in the video with the goatee? So I interpret that two ways where he's saying I'm obsessed now. So he's saying she's obsessed with him, right? Because she's doing a video about um, – she's she has him in the video. But I think he also could be alluding that Nick's the one that's obsessed with her even though they're dating because he got her name tattooed on his back. I'm trying to see if Eminem has a tattoo mm -hmm. like that. He, he doesn't. He doesn't have Mariah tattooed on his back. Okay. Just making sure. So that's what I'm saying. But he's also saying OG <clears> – <throat> Is like original. It yeah. The OG. True. And then Obsessed is the title of the song. It is. Of That's, Mariah's song. Yes. So he's saying like, I think he means obsessed two ways that Mariah's obsessed with Eminem for putting Eminem in the music video, right? About him. And then uh, I think Nick's the one obsessed with Mariah because they're dating at the time, but he got her name tattooed on his back, right? Yeah. So it's like a double shot at both of them. Never get your, never get someone's <laughs> name tattooed on you. Stupid. Don't do it. I've never seen it work out. No. Never in my life. Yeah. So Go he he continues, is that supposed to be me in the video with the goatee, which we talked about, which I believe is actually her dressed up. I don't think it's somebody else. I think it's her playing the character of him dressed up with a goatee. He doesn't even have a goatee. <clears throat> no, it's true. Weird. He says, wow, Mariah, didn't expect you to go balls out. Bitch, shut the fuck up before I put all them phone calls out. You made it. He has. He does. Some, he? Well, clips, it sounds like. I'm pretty sure I've heard them. Uh, before I put all the phone calls out, you made to my house when you was wiling out before Nick, when you was on my dick and give you something to smile about. Okay. So this is pretty clever what he does. So he's like, I didn't expect you to go balls out. Meaning like, I didn't expect you to 
blatantly diss me, you know, because she yeah. was doing like little subtle stuff, you know. And she started it <clears throat> allegedly. Well, I mean, he was mentioning Mariah like years before this, you know what I mean? Because she denied. So I, I feel him, like he was the first. According to the beginning of the song. Yeah, but I feel like Eminem was already talking about her in songs. Before they had a thing? Well, before that came up. I think that's why people started asking her about it. It's like, oh, Eminem raps about being with you. Is that true? And then she was like, <laughs> either way, you know, regardless. So he says, shut the fuck up before I put all the phone calls out. So yeah, he's saying he's got recordings, right? That you made to my house. So she was calling his house when you were wilding out before Nick. So that's a play, obviously, on Nick Cannon's Wilding Out. It's the name of the show. Yeah. But he says, you were wilding out before Nick. <laughs> and then he says- Wait, it's interesting that <clears throat> he recorded that. Yeah, it is. <laughs> then he says, when you was on my dick and give you something to smile about. So, you know, before you were with Nick, you were on my dick. You know what I mean? You were happy. You were leaving me crazy messages. It's mess. It's not necessarily that. Yeah, it's messages. <clears throat> yeah. Um, then he continues. He says, how many times you fly to my house, still trying to count, better shut your lying mouth if you don't want Nick finding out. You probably think because it's been so long, if I had something on you, I would have did it by now. Oh, on the contrary, Mary Poppins, I'm mixing our studio session down and sending it to Masterin to make it to make it loud. And then he says, enough dirt on you to murder you. Okay, so he's obviously saying, you've been to my house many times. You better stop lying about me if you don't want me to spill the whole truth about our relationship, what happened, how many times we saw each other. Yeah, he mentions her in <laughs> Superman, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, you better shut your lying mouth if you don't want Nick finding out. So he implies more than once in this song that she's lying to Nick about the extent of their relationships, like how many times, how long they were dating, you know, how many times. Because in public, she's saying, oh, no, we didn't. We hung out a couple of times. And he's saying, no, it's more than that. We were hooking up, blah, 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 all that. Mm -hmm. And then the straightforward here is he says, you probably think because it's been so long that if I had something on you, I would have done it. And he's saying, no, you know. And he actually does a cool little thing. He says, on the contrary, Mary Poppins. What I'm is that? Our... So she refers to herself as Mary Poppins. I didn't know that. In like an interview, she said she's like, she's like, I'm like straight laced. I'm like Mary Poppins or whatever. And then um, so he's taking that from her. And then he says, on the contrary. So it's the opposite. But then like Mary, Mary, quite contrary. You know, it's a little play on that thing. Um, then he says, I'm mixing our studio sessions down and sending it to mastering to make it out loud. So he's saying, you know, I got audio that i can put out enough dirt on you to murder you this is what the fuck i do mariah did it ever occur to you that i still have pictures however you prefer to do and that goes for nick too faggot you think i'm scared of you so <clears throat> he's saying mariah this is what i do meaning like i destroy people's careers i diss them you know what i mean like you don't want to get into this with me of all people and he's pictures and then he's all says he also has pictures and then he says however you prefer to do meaning like if it's you, crazy that he still has them. I mean, why would you throw them out or delete them? You know what I mean? Uh, it's Mariah. She's famous. You know what I mean? So is he. Yeah. So. <laughs> but so, so then he's saying, however you prefer to do, meaning like I'm willing to dead this and let this go. But if you want to attack me like you just did with Obsessed, I can play that game too. And then he says, that goes for you too, Nick. You think I'm scared of you? Like, I'm not scared of Nick Cannon. You know what I mean? I don't he's think like, anyone's scared of Nick Cannon. He's like, we can, we can go back and forth doing this too. All right. And then he says, um, you're going to ruin my career. You better get one, which I love that line to Nick Cannon. You want to ruin my career? You better get a career. Like I'm going to sit and fight with you over some slut bitch cunt. Beep. We don't got to do that. <laughs> over some slut bitch cunt that Beep. made me put up with her psycho ass over six months and only spread her legs to let me hit once. Yeah. So, okay, he's dissing Nick. You don't have a career saying you're going to do something to me. And then he it's so funny that he does when he's dissing Mariah, who's his girl. I don't know if they're married at this point. I don't know if Nick and Mariah are married or just dating at this point. But he says um, when he's like over some slut bitch. Con so it's like he's, he's using all three of them. You know what I mean? Like he could have just done one of them. He could have called her any of those words. But mm -hmm. he's calling them all three, which I, I find really funny. And then, like you were alluded to before, so they were dating. So she's psycho. She's crazy. They were dating for six months, and they only had sex once, according to Eminem. 
And then on that, you know, theme, he says, what, you're going to say I'm lucky? Tell the public I was so ugly that you had to fucking be drunk to fuck me? Did she say that? I don't know. I So I actually don't know if he's anticipating what she's going to say or if she may have, may have said something like this. I don't know. You know what I mean? So he's not <clears throat> ugly. No, I don't he's think so. He's very good looking. But he's... And he, she's not... She's not the prettiest person in Hollywood. <laughs> so this is, I think this is more of like the eight mile theme, like in the movie where you take the steam out of the person. You say all yeah. the bad things about yourself before they can say it. So there's nothing they can respond with. It's like, yeah, I already said you were going to say that. You know what I mean? But like so- one thing though, in Superman, <laughs> he says, what are you, Mariah, fly through twice. Mm-hmm. So he's saying, I mean, <clears throat> that they hung out a lot but then in superman he says she only f- flew through twice mm. so, so I, I don't know did they or didn't they so i mean I, it's they they both acknowledge they hung out yeah the extent of how many times that's obviously but the dispute here i was like no it was way more than that yeah but then in earlier songs it doesn't sound well he's like saying much. i don't so know you maybe it happened as, over time well know. that she flew to his house twice do you know what I mean? Oh, you like don't know. They might have hung out other places. Do you know what I mean? Um, so then, yeah, he says, uh, second base, what the fuck you tell Nick Pumpkin? The second week we were dry humping. That's got to count for something. Listen, girly, surely you don't want me to talk about how I nutted early because I ejaculated prematurely. So, okay, this is more straight eight mile type stuff, right? I'm going to take the wind out of your sails before you can say anything. Is this true? Like Again, I, you know. I know. This were just, this is what he's claiming. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And so he's on the heels of what? You're going to tell people I was drunk and that's the only way you would fuck me? And then he says, second base, what the fuck you tell Nick Pumpkin? So I don't know if this is true or not, but it sounds like Eminem's implying that she told Nick that they only got to second base, right? What are we, 12? I know. And then he says, the second week we were dry humping, that's got to count for something, which is really funny. You know, it's tongue in cheek. It's another childish type thing. And then he says, listen, girl, you sure you don't want me to talk about how I nutted early because I ejaculated prematurely. So saying like, okay, yeah, they did have sex. And to prove it, I'm going to say something embarrassing about myself, which I wouldn't say if it weren't true. You know what I mean? Again, another eight mile. I'm going to talk shit about myself. So you have nothing to come back at me with. Well, you do that in real life, too. Yeah. He, like, made that famous, though, with the movie. You know what I mean? With his battling. Mm-hmm. And then and he says, and bust all over your belly. And you almost... Wait, so did we hear this part yet? You know what? I don't know. No, we, we this... did. It got up to... Oh, okay. Like, yeah. I'll just cover the first line. He says, and bust all over your belly. And you almost started earling. And said I was gross. Go get a towel. Your stomach's curling. Mm-hmm. Or maybe you do. But if I'm embarrassing me, I'm embarrassing you. Okay. So he, he nutted early. He ejaculated prematurely and busted on her belly. And then it grossed her out. Said he was gross. And she told him to get a towel because her stomach's curling. And then he says, or maybe you do. It's like, or maybe you want me to talk about that. You know what I mean? He's like, surely you don't want me to talk about how I nutted early. But then he says, or maybe you do want me to talk about that and then he continues but if i'm embarrassing me i'm embarrassing you and don't you dare say it isn't true so that's where we left off we will play the rest of the song out and then break it down Bust all over your belly and you almost started early and said I was gross. Go get a towel, your stomach's curling, or maybe you do. But if I'm embarrassing me, I'm embarrassing you. And don't you dare say it isn't true. As long as that song's getting airplay, I'm dissing you. I'm a hair away from getting carried away and getting sued. I was gonna stop at 16, that was 32. This is 34 bars, we ain't even third of the way through. Damn, Slim Mariah played you. Mariah who? Oh, did I say whore, Nick? I meant a liar too. Uh, like I've been going off on you all this time for no reason. Girl, you out your alcoholic mind. Check your wine cellar. Look at the amounts of all the wine. Like I fucking sit around and think about you all the time. I just think this shit is funny when I pounce you on a rhyme. But fuck it now, I'm about to draw the line. And for you to cross it, that's a mountain that I doubt you wanna climb. I can describe areas of your house you wouldn't find on an episode of Crips. I blow below the ribs. If I hear another word, so don't go open in your gyps. Cause every time you do, it's like an overload of fibs. I ain't saying this shit again, ho, you know what it is. It's a warning shot before I blow up your whole spot. Call my bluffing, I release every fucking thing I got. Including the voicemails right before you flip your top. When me and Luis were trying to steal.
stick two CDs in the same slot. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> Let me whisper sweet nothings into your ear, boo. Know what you say? It's nothing. Yes, yeah, so what I'll do is refresh your memory when you said I want you. Now should I keep going or should we call truth? You think you're cute, right? You bet the sweet ass <laughs> I do. I'm Mary Poppins, B. And I'm Superman, ooh. Mary P. Coming at you. So if you still be my baby girl, then I'll still be your superhero. Who I am? Yeah, I'm right here. You like this? Nope, not anymore, dear. It cuts like a knife when I tell you get a life. But I'm moving on with my nick, cause that's your life. Well, tell her to shut her mouth, then I'll leave her alone. If she don't, sit the script, then I'ma just keep going. Damn. I see Marianne. Marianne's saying, cut the tape. Cut the tape. Knife. Okay. There's a lot there. <laughs> so embarrassing. <laughs> It'd be so embarrassed if I were me. So it's not clear to me how much of those vocals of Mariah that we just heard are from songs and interviews, or if some of them are from her voicemails to him. Do you know what I mean? I, it's not clear to me I what's like what, it. which I think is also probably intentional. I mean, Mariah would know if those were clips of voicemails exactly. she left him. You know what I'm I mean? Sorry. Okay, so... He we left off with, uh, or maybe you do, but if I'm embarrassing me, I'm embarrassing you, and don't you dare say it isn't true. As long as that song's getting airplay, I'm dissing you. I'm a hair away from getting carried away and getting sued. So, if that song's getting airplay, obsessed, he's like, I'm dissing you because you came at me. Yeah. And he's this close to getting carried away and getting sued. So I wonder what he means by that. Like saying something that he shouldn't. But saying something that she could sue him over. But. Like, meaning like making up stuff. Do you know what I mean? Because like, if it's true, it's no it's not slander or libel. Well, how can you prove it? So I, I, I so that's what I, I I always wonder about this line. Like, is he talking about like lie? I don't know what he's referring to that would get him sued. You know. I don't know. Yeah. So it's funny though that he's threatening her, and then he says, "I was gonna stop at sixteen. That was thirty-two. This is 34 bars. We ain't even third of the way through. Maybe she hadn't had him sign a... a oh, non disclosure Oh, maybe. It's possible. That happens. For like certain things. No, that's 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 very good point. I didn't even think about that. That happens a lot in, you know, like Hollywood and yeah. famous people. Um. So, yeah, he says I was going to stop at 16. That was 32. So, we've discussed this in previous songs. 16 bars is a typical rap verse traditionally, right? It's different now, but... He's like, okay, I was going to do just do 16. That was his intention going to the song. But he's at 32, which is twice as much. And then he says, this is 34 bars, which he says on the 34th bar, which is funny. And then he says, we ain't even a third of the way through. So he's like, I have so much to talk about, right? And then it says, damn slim, Mariah played you. Mariah who? Oh, did I say whore, Nick? I meant a liar, too. And so he's having Mariah who? Obviously, we know Mariah. And then, so I'm assuming that he's called her a whore before. Maybe Nick didn't like that. Probably. Because he says, oh, did I say whore, Nick? I meant a liar, too. So he's reiterating the fact that he called her a whore and calling her a liar. <clears throat> he says, like, I've been going off on you all this time for no reason. Girl, you out your alcoholic mind. Check your wine cellar. Look at the amounts of all the wine. Like, I fucking sit around and think about you all the time. I just think this shit is funny when I pounce you on a rhyme, but fuck it. Now I'm about to draw the line and for you to cross that it's a mountain. I doubt you want to climb. I can describe areas of your house you wouldn't find. So it continues, but we'll break it down there. So he's saying, okay, you're telling people that we never hooked up or anything. Mm -hmm. And I'm just, a, we never were together. So I'm just lying about you for no reason. You know what I mean? Yeah. Which says yeah. probably this is not. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. And then he says, you got your alcoholic mind, which we've heard throughout Eminem's career talking about her. And not only him, he didn't even start this. Yeah. There was, I believe the Cribbus episode is where people started calling her an alcoholic. And also um, Richard Branson's Cribbs episode. Yeah. maybe I think that's what I'm referring to. Yeah. yeah. So there's a lot of people that say she's an alcoholic, you know. Um, so he's saying you're out your alcoholic mind. She has her own, she had or has her own wine. Yeah. So company, then. Company, brand, whatever. So he does the, he does a, 
he says, check your wine cellar. Look at the amount of all the wine. Like I fucking sit around and think about you all the time. So it's a double entendre because he's calling her an alcoholic, right? But then he invokes the wine cellar, which we hear on bagpipes from Baghdad, right? On relapse. And he's saying, which he goes on to say that I've been in your wine cellar and I can describe parts of your house that the public wouldn't know about, which would prove that I've been there. You know what I mean? Mm Mm-hmm. And then he's saying, obviously, I don't sit around and think about you all the time. I just think it's funny to shit on you, right? And then he says, but I'm about to draw the line and for you to cross it, that doubt that's a mountain you want to climb. Meaning like, I shit on you, but if you cross this line. Like if you go further, I'm going to go further and you know that I can go a lot further. Yes. So he says, I can describe areas of your house you wouldn't find on an episode of Cribs, a blow below the ribs. If I hear another word, so don't go opening your jibs, because every time you do, it's like an overload of fibs. I ain't saying the shit again, ho. You know what it is. It's a warning shot before I blow up your whole spot. Call my bluff, and I'll release every fucking thing I got, including the voicemails right before you flipped your top when me and Luis were trying to stick two CDs in the same slot. Okay, so... We discussed the cribs part that he's saying I can describe areas of your house that aren't publicly known, right? So I can prove that I've been there. And then a blow below the ribs. So that's like a low blow, like a cheap shot. Like in boxing, they call it like hitting below the belt. It's a penalty. You can't do that. So he's saying like, oh, yeah, I'm going to give you a low blow. I'm going to hit you. Does also mean something else? What do you mean? Because he's talking about areas of her house that you wouldn't see on cribs. Mm-hmm. And he says a blow <clears> through <throat> the ribs. With, yeah, it rhymes. But like maybe she like gave him head in an area in her house that hasn't been on cribs. So then like if she heard cellar. this, she would be like. That's possible. Ugh. That's possible. I mean, I, only they would know that. You know what I mean? Yeah. But that's very possible. I mean, we don't know if there's stuff that only she would recognize. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, because I watch Mariah's cribs. I obviously wouldn't know. A room I've never seen. Yeah, of course. Or of a room I've never seen. I do want to point out, we're, we're breaking down the lyrics, but his rhyming is so, and his flow is so incredible in this, especially this part, the the blow below the ribs, open in your jibs, overload of fit. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. He's The way he's riding the beat, it's like really good. Um, so he says, yeah, he says, a, bl- a blow below the ribs if I hear another word, so don't go open in your jib. So he says he's going to give her a cheap shot, low blow. He's going to do some foul shit yeah. if she keeps talking about him because every time she does, she lies about him. And he's not going to say it again. You know what it is. Meaning like you know what's up. And then he says what it is. It's a warning shot, which is the title of the song, Warning, saying like, hey. So like for him, it's not even a diss. It's exactly. It's like, this isn't a diss. I'm just letting you know yeah. that there's more. Yes. <laughs> and then, yeah, before I blow up your whole spot, call my bluff, I'll release everything I got. So, okay, including the voicemails right before you flipped your top. So I don't know if you know or remember, she had like a mental breakdown at that time it was like publicly reported everywhere not really yeah so around this time she had a public the the breakdown wasn't public but it was known in the public that she had i guess had to go right and rest or whatever i don't know if it was to rehab whatever it was so he says including the voicemails right before you flipped your tops right before she had a breakdown when me and Luis were trying to stick two cds in the same slot so Luis was her boyfriend or husband so eminem's implying that you were cheating on him with me. We were both trying to have sex with you at the same time. So interesting. We don't know well, why I, they broke up. I mm-hmm. initially read that as together. It, I mean, <laughs> I'd be surprised, but I think the implication is like, yeah, we were cheating. Unless, you know, you never know. Maybe, maybe they, she wanted that. I have no clue. I mean, but it's same slot. Bare minimum that they were both hooking up with her, which means that she was having an affair with Eminem while she was dating him. All right. And then we hear these vocals, Slim Shady, Artful Dodger. So I don't know where this is coming from. I don't know if the Slim Shady is from um, Obsessed. I don't remember what she says in that song, honestly. Um, I'm trying to see if there's any. I have the lyrics on my phone. It says, this is Mariah allegedly taken from the voicemails he has of her. Some had already seen the light of day on the anger management tour in 2005, along with a touching tribute to her prefacing the song Puke, a reference to the character of the Artful Dodger in the Oliver Twist. In the novel Oliver Twist, Mariah's nickname for him, as opposed to his nickname for her, Mary Poppins. So it must be from 
I mean, where else would you have her saying this? Yeah, you would know. And then he does this cool thing where he mixes her vocals. He effectively makes a song together with her. So one thing I do want to point out, yeah. if okay, so all of the samples of her voice sounds like they're pulled from a continuous thing. The mm -hmm. voice is like in the same tone. And she's talking the same way she is in the other ones, and they all sound the same. So unless someone like went in there and made them all sound exactly alike, as if they all came from the same, you know, recording, which I guess is possible, then they're definitely all from the same recording. I agree with you. There was one I thought maybe sounded a little different, but all of them they all sound, they sound like they do. It does sound like it's taken from the same place. It could even be multiple phone calls. But it sounds like they were all taken from the same either. And it doesn't sound like her. <clears throat> it sounds like a voice you put on when you're trying to sound sexy. Yeah. It doesn't sound like Mariah Carey in an interview. Yeah, it's interesting. So we hear a, a audio clip of her saying, I love you. And then Eminem says, I love you too. Let me whisper sweet nothings in your ear, boo. Now what, now what you say, and then she says, it's nothing. Yes, yeah, so what I'll do is refresh your memory when you said, I want you. That's what Mariah said. Now, should I keep going or should we call truce? And then we hear her say, you think you're cute, right? And then Eminem says, you bet your sweet ass I do. Which it's funny because, again, he's making a song out of this. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then we hear her say, I'm Mary Poppins, baby. Eminem says, and I'm Superman. Ooh. Mary P. Slim Shady coming at you. So, again, it's very clever how he's, without her consent, making her be in a song with him. <laughs> it's very funny. And then Eminem says, so if you'll be my baby girl, then I'll still be your superhero. O and M, yeah, I'm right here. You like this? Nope, not anymore, dear. It cuts like a knife when I tell you get a life, but I'm moving on with mine, Nick, because that's your wife. I love that part, the way it sounds. It's funny. Um, we'll tell her to shut her mouth, then I'll leave her alone. If she don't stick to the script, then I'm going to just keep going. Damn. And then we just hear oh, – I thought there was a little more. We just hear – Oh, yeah. there it is. This is, I see Mary and Marianne saying cut the tape, cut the tape knife. So it's interesting. Eminem says it cuts like a knife. So that's where he got the vocals of her. Mm -hmm. And then so uh, this is interesting. Um, I actually got this from Lyric, Gen Lyric Genius. I didn't really know this before. So when you click on the annotation, it explains on this. It says, Marianne Tatum is one of Mariah Carey's backup vocalists. The inclusion of this clip at the end is either just for style, having Mariah saying cut the tape at the end of her own diss, or for the sake of driving home that the recordings are legit, since only people familiar with Mariah would know who Marianne is. Interesting. Yes. And then that is but, it. like cut the tape for what? So it sounds like there was some type of recording because we're hearing her say, I see Marianne, Marianne saying cut the tape. So they're either recording a song or a video or she's, you know, something. There's something's being recorded. Like maybe they were doing like just a something, messing anything. around in the studio together. It's possible. It, and this is what he has. So Eminem, apparently the way they met was they were going to do a song together. That makes sense. Yes. All right. So the warning. So, yeah, I mean, I've heard this before. I haven't listened to it much. I didn't remember a lot of it, but um, it is a really good diss track. It's cool that he calls it the warning because it's essentially like he's saying like, oh, this isn't a diss track. Like, this is just a warning to you that there will be a diss track yeah. if you keep going. Yes. Which is pretty awesome because it is still really good. Yeah. It's crazy that he used her vocals in this. <laughs> I know. That's the coolest part, I think. Like, if that were me, I'd be so embarrassed. I'd be like, oh, my God. She shut the fuck up after this. Yeah. Maybe they're subliminals, but there was no direct shit. Nothing, well, that tells me nothing, that they're real. Nothing comparable to Obsessed, at least. Do you know what I mean? Like, I could be ignorant that she may have made some comments or something sly, but not to the level of Obsessed. That tells me that the recording is real. <laughs> yeah. Because if it wasn't, I'm sure... She would be out there with, like, her whole crew, like, none of this is real. You pulled this from my interviews, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, of course. It was really good. And then Very we, embarrassing. Yeah, I know. And I, I actually, even though I'm not a big fan of his, I actually feel bad for Nick Cannon, too, because, like, that's his wife, man. And somebody's talking about your wife and, like, 
What? I mean, it's bound to happen when you're in Hollywood. No. If there was another <clears throat> Hollywood, like, marriage going on and whatnot. Yeah. I mean, Nick tried his best to come at him for years and years and years. It never worked, but... I mean, what... <laughs> What could Nick Cannon even do? He has Wild Now, okay. And then, like, the only songs I've ever heard him, there's Dime, or, like, Dime Piece. Gigolo? Yeah, I liked, I liked Gigolo when I was younger. That's a good beat. Well, I think R. Kelly makes that song, though. I'm a gigolo. Right? That's R. Kelly, right? I know that Nick Cannon's on it. I know, I agree, but I think the best part, the catchy part, I believe, is R. Kelly on the hook. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, he had a couple of... Did he do Dime? Time. I don't know. Maybe. Do that? Maybe. I'm looking for a Dime. Maybe. For the last. Or he might just be... I don't even know. Someone let me know. It's been a long time. <laughs> but yeah, so this is obviously 2009. I mean, just a couple of years ago. I don't know. Sometime between now and 2020, Nick Cannon came at Eminem again with his... um while and out rappers they made like a diss track and they were like trying to call him racist and stuff and it didn't so it, it didn't go anywhere yeah oh, but he's fun. he's separated from mariah for a while too so it's interesting done yeah they have kids together but yeah, yeah nick has like a thousand kids now oh my god like been. all of the kids yeah he's like genghis khan like 10 or 11 now yeah and is he i don't think he's stopping no he doesn't plan to Hide your wife. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, this is a classic song. Like I said, there was people a while ago requested this, and we were putting it off, and I was like, oh, you know, we'll just do it now because – Might as well. It's classic. It's very good. There's, like, his flow on – his flow in general is good. His flow, the way on the beat is so good. His rhyme – so, typically, when you get, like, a diss song, it's not about, like, the technical skills yeah, or the rhyming. Yeah, just about the diss You're thing. just telling a story, typically, but he still manages to make it sound good and have, like – it's clever, you know. Yeah. No, it's really good. I like it. Yes. Okay. All right. So, yeah, definitely check out Carnivore Snacks, Seek Geek, follow us on social media channels, and we'll see you guys soon. See you.